Hey, what's going on? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University. This is my review of Phantom Gamer's unofficial AOKP for the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon. Uh, this is for an unlocked bootloader. So if you have a locked bootloader, you need to get that unlocked before you flash this ROM. Um, this is, like I said, Phantom Gamer's version of it. It is unofficial. It is based off of Android 4.1.1. And I believe it's got the Cyanogen Mod 10 base to it. Works great. It's wonderful. Uh, it is a very smooth, fully working AOSP ROM. If you've never uh, downloaded and flashed an AOSP ROM, it's pretty easy to do. I'll have a link in the description to the uh, page on Roots Wiki where I got the download from. You have to also download the G apps or the GAPs along with the ROM. Where with TouchWiz and the stock ROMs, it's already inside the ROM. So those are the two differences. If you are going to flash this, uh, go to the uh, description, click on that link, download the two files that you need, go into Clockwork Mod Recovery, and make sure that you wipe everything. A lot of people are uh, wiping the data factory reset, wipe cache, wipe Dalvik, and then go into mounts and storage and format system, format data, and format cache before you flash the uh, the ROM. After you've done that, flash the zip file and then flash gaps right after that and reboot your phone and it should boot up just like any other AOSP ROM does where you sign into your Google account and all that jazz. But uh, once you get it all set up, this is what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to kind of give you a review of the different features and things that you can do with the uh, AOKP ROM from Phantom Gamers. First thing is these awesome uh, wallpapers, really cool wallpapers, and I, they must have some kind of a server. You click on swag papers, and it loads from the server. Uh, but these are AOKP wallpapers, which are absolutely awesome. I switch them sometimes a couple times a day because my phone just totally looks different when I put one of these on. So those are the uh, different AOKP. Uh, wallpapers that you can use on your uh, Galaxy S3. So that's number one. Number two, I'm using the uh, Nova Launcher, which is very smooth, very fluid. Uh, there is absolutely no lag in it whatsoever. This is Jelly Bean Android 4.1. Uh, if we go into the system settings, if you've never used AOKP before, this is what sets it apart from pretty much every other ROM. ROM control. You are able to customize pretty much anything with this ROM. Uh, go into this first option, General UI. You've got all these different uh, options here, including allowing 180 degree rotation, disabling your boot animation, putting in a custom boot animation, notification backgrounds, uh, your own custom carrier label, all that kind of stuff. So that's in the general UI. Your lock screen, you can choose lock screen wallpaper, the text color, the battery percentage. Um, I also enabled my weather, so my weather is on my lock screen as well. You can change the style from a weather panel to text. Uh, your calendar, you can enable that as well, so it will show your next uh, appointments and, and things that you put on your calendar right there on your lock screen. The power menu, it shows you uh, or it allows you to pick what you want in your power menu. I don't need any of those two, so I just use the screenshot one. Um, navigation bar, this is for those of you who want the, uh, the buttons here, like on the Galaxy Nexus, without having to use your hardware buttons, and there's plenty of customizations for that. Hardware keys, uh, you can change to what your different hardware keys do on your phone, from volume to power to all of these. That's all customizable as well. Again, AOKP is customizable. Your battery, uh, the biter icon style, if you want the icon, the text, the icon and the text, the icon with center text, or the circle mod, it's all there for you. The location of your battery bar, which I've got up at the top here. I've got it in my status bar, but the style is what's really cool as well. You can get the regular one, which starts from here and goes all the way over here, and is your battery goes down it, it empties I've got the center mirrored so it actually starts in the middle and comes from each side towards the center I like that one a lot better uh, you can do the thickness and the color and everything like that as well so and that is your battery. The clock, you can choose whether you want it in the center or the right, whether you want the day of the week or the AM, PM up there, which I've done as well. Um, let's see here. Toggles, this allows you to uh, change the layout of the toggles up in the top here. Um, there's your swagger toggle, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you can do that as well. You can change the color of all of that, and that's the status bar. Um, and then you get your signal. You can change whether you want uh, numbers, DBM, 4G, 3G, all that kind of stuff up there as well. So uh, that is the status bar. Then you get into system. You can change your LED colors and how often they uh, pulse, the sound. You got that as well. And then, of course, your weather. 
um, where you can enable your weather to be on your home screen, which is really cool. Performance, this will give you your current speed, your governors. You can change things around, overclock, underclock, if your kernel supports it. Um, this one only goes up to the 1512 or the 1.5 gigahertz, which is stock on here, which is fine. So that's, what, uh, that's what's in the ROM control menu. Then you've got themes, which you can download as well. You can also, uh, got, you got device options here. Um, sound, display, storage, battery. Uh, the battery life is pretty good on this one here. 81% discharging at 5 hours and 26 minutes. Uh, and everything else looks pretty much the same. If you go into the About phone, you see it is Android 4.1. Oops, Android 4.1.1. It is the uh, Cyanogen Mod Phantom build phantom gamers again i'll put the uh, link to this rom up on the uh, description for you to check out uh, but that's pretty much the menus it's got everything else that any other aosp rom does except for it doesn't have that rom control which is awesome that's what gives you all the customizations if you're new to rooting and new to flashing roms that's why we do it because you can make it totally custom to the way that you want it let me show you the lock screen real quick here uh the options that i enabled on there the weather which you can see right there uh, you also got your battery percentage and you got your time and your date and your alarm all of it on there and you can assign uh, different hot seats here for you as well so that's what's going on with the phantom gamers uh, aokp rom this is android university my name is eric have a great day